First, let me welcome everyone who are taking time out of their day to join us for a very different type of ribbon cutting. My name is Todd Wiggins. I am the president of Sports Turf Company, a specialty sports construction company based in Carroll County, Georgia. The fact that we are not all standing together at Bowden High School is a sign of the very difficult times we are all experiencing. I would like everyone to know that at Sports Turf, we are working very hard to protect our people and our customers, while also preparing the facilities we are engaged with for when our lives return to normal and we can resume the activity of competition through sport. Again, welcome to our, first, our very first virtual ribbon cutting. We are very honored to have been given the opportunity to serve the needs of Carroll County Schools with the construction of this and other high quality athletic fields and facilities. Today's event comes with a significant amount of pride for us as it represents the best in innovation and ideas and approach to provide safety, performance and durability for our student athletes. You will hear from our client at Carroll County Schools, Superintendent Scott Cowart, followed by our award-winning Times Georgian, All Area Coach of the Year, Rich Finley. So excited about the new turf field at uh, Bowden High School. Uh, it's something that the community is excited about, the kids, the coaches, the host. The whole environment is going to change because of this addition. Yes, we're just completing a turf field project at Bowden High School, also one at Mount Zion High School, along with a track resurfacing uh, project at Mount Zion High School. And then we're also doing a track resurfacing project at Central High School. We're very fortunate to live in a community that's uh, committed to doing great work for our student athletes and all of our students. And uh, we're lucky to live in a community that uh, really supports our schools like we have in Carroll County. This is a, another in the line of um, projects we've been able to do with our special purpose local option sales tax, our SPLOS for education that our community has supported for five consecutive uh, cycles. And it's, it's so amazing that we have a community that values education and understands that providing our students with a first class uh, facilities is an, an important piece of what we do for them. So we appreciate our voters and their continued uh, support of our SPLOST efforts. We've had uh, experience with sports turf in the past and they've done great projects with us. Uh, and the issue with sports turf is that they're not only a company that comes in and does the work, they're a partner in the project. They're, they walk along with us, uh, help us see what the options are, understand how we can make the project be the best it can be. Uh, and they always come in on time and on, on price, and you, know, you just can't have a better partner than Sports Turf. Uh, one of the uh, great uh, parts of being a partner with Sports Turf is they lay out all the different options, and there are a number of options out there on turf fields now. Uh, so studying the different um, options there, we felt like this was the best uh, product for uh, Mount, the Bowden and Mount Zion fields, and Sports Turf was a big part of that decision. Uh, one of the things that Sports Turf laid out for us is that there are now um, uh, systems that allow you to have a cushion up under the turf in addition to the, the field within a turf itself. Uh, so it gives an extra safety value to the field. Uh, in addition, the, the field on this is called Brock uh, Field, uh, which allows the field to be a cooler field. Uh, so in the heat of the summer, it'll be uh, more enjoyable for our student athletes to be on the field. Uh, uh, Bowden High School has a tradition of excellence in a number of ways, and athletics is definitely one of them. Um, they have had outstanding programs for a number of years, and, and we're really excited that our Board of Education uh, decided to, to continue invest uh, in the Bowden uh, program. Uh, our board has been very supportive of all of our extracurricular activities, as well as our academic endeavors over the last several years. We're so appreciative of the uh, support the Bowden community has always given to the schools. Um, not only the academics, but uh, but our athletic programs. And as we are completing this project, we, we wish we were able to have this ribbon cutting and our graduation ceremonies on the field like we would typically do, but know that we look forward to having you with us and, and you're able to see and be a part of this uh, new turf field we have at Bowden High School. We look forward to the Red Devils uh, enjoying continued success with this field. 
part of the uh, success we've had recently at Bowden High School has been because of our coach, uh, Rich Finley. He's come in you know, over the last two years. He's energized our community, energized our student athletes, uh, and he's been a big part of the push to make sure that this project has happened. So let me introduce Coach Rich Finley of the Bowden Red Devils. My name is Rich Finley, and I'm the head football coach at Bowden High School. I'm going to be keeping my fingers crossed that we're going to actually get to play on it this fall. Um, there was a lot of excitement, especially when ground was broken on it. Um, you know, we got to pick the color schemes and everything, and we kind of talked with kids about it and putting pitchforks out there and, you know, the black and red. So I think, I think everyone is excited. Um, no one was there to see it when, when it actually got put down we were all out of school at that time I know our seniors were supposed to walk on it for graduation so I think our community is going to be really excited when, when we when we get a chance to get out on it um, I like the way it felt I like the smaller blades of grass um, you know I'd heard and I'm gonna have to see this live and in action but I've heard that the temperature can be as much as 20 degrees different from the rubber pellets that absorb heat and keep those fields, you know, 100 degrees during the, the summer months of July and August. So I, I think our community is excited to have their kids playing on, you know, what everybody else is kind of going to and, and to kind of feel like you've got the better facilities of the schools in your region and in, and in, in the state of Georgia in Class A um, athletics. They, they did a great job and very impressed. It, it looks, I knew it was going to look good, but, but it looks better done than I thought it was going to look. So very, very appreciative of the job done. Better. You know, find a way to work so that when, when it's your time to get on this turf in the fall, if we're allowed to play, you're ready, you're in shape, your body's strong, you're in great uh, condition to go out there and, and last four quarters in a game. Because I think at some point we're going to be able to play on, on that stuff, whether it's a delayed season, whether we start August you know, 24th like we're supposed to. Um, so, you know, keep working at home, you know, don't get out in, in big crowds and get sick and uh, parents stay on your kids about grades and stay on them about getting those workouts in and hopefully we can all get on that uh, field and celebrate a big win sometime this, this season coming up.